Hi all folks, this is Max from droidbionicroot.com. So today I'm going to show you how to root your Droid Bionic using a Linux or Mac computer. Uh, it's very simple to do. Um, you're not going to break your device or anything. Um, so let's do it. The first thing you're going to do is um, connect USB cable to your computer. All right. And then next what we're going to do is uh, set it to charge only, USB connection. Um, choose charge only and then go to menu settings and uh, applications and uh, development and make sure USB debugging is checked on like that alright and then we're gonna go to our computer our Linux computer uh, I'm gonna use Linux but it should be exactly the same in Mac um, actually for Linux if you're gonna uh, root on Linux you have to change the USB connection to PC mode um, that's the only way it's gonna recognize it but for Mac you can do charge only okay so for Linux PC only and for Mac charge only all right and if you have trouble you can try both of them and see which one works but I'm pretty sure that is the way to go um, so once that's done Hi folks, so next what you're going to do is um, go on your computer, Linux or Mac, and go download Droid Bionic Root Linux Mac.zip and unzip it to this folder uh, on your desktop or wherever you want it. And then open up a terminal and then you're going to go browse to it using the commands. Uh, let me just zoom in here real quick. And then uh, type these commands, uh, CD uh, desktop, oops, and uh, type uh, Droid and you can do the tap to fill it in for you or wherever you uh, unzip the file still. Um, once you're in that directory, all we're gonna do is type um, sh and uh, run to your droid3.sh. You can use uh, sh space run and then hit the tap button to auto fill it for you. And next hit enter and uh, you should be all good to go. So the first part was done already and it, my phone's rebooting and when it reboots I'll be back. Hi all folks, so my phone's almost uh, rebooted or it rebooted, it's connecting to um, my computer here. And this part two of the rooting process should automatically start. Um, yep, so it's working. And it rebooted again. All right, so I'll be back when in this reboots. So it's almost done. Uh, my phone rebooted and it's connecting to my computer now. And then uh, it should do the step three and hopefully we'll have a rooted uh, Droid Bionic. Last time I did it Windows, but this time I did it with Ubuntu Linux. And the process should be same on the, on the Mac because it uses pretty much the same uh, method. So, why is it not starting? So it should start any minute here. Hello. There we go, it says remount succeeded. Um, it's doing something. Uh, it's copying the super user files, success. And my phone should be rooted. All right, let's go to our phone and take a look. All right, folks, so I'm gonna open up my phone here. Um, unlock the screen. And let's go see if we have super user. There we go, we have super user app. And uh, it's been rooted. Anyway, that's how you root uh, your Droid Bionic on Linux or Mac. Um, we'll have a bunch of more tips and hacks on the uh, Droid Bionic coming soon at droidbionicroot.com. Please check it out. Uh, that's droidbionicroot.com. Droid I've rooted my Droid Bionic t like 10 times to make this video. I've been doing a bunch of edit edits. Anyway, thanks you all. Subscribe. Uh, you guys all rock for subscribing and watching my videos. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, y'all. All right. See y'all later. I'm so tired.